Hello everyone, it is Flezio here, and this is my first video, so congratulations for being some of the first people to watch this not great channel. Anyway, so, for my first story on this channel, I will be talking about a couple of years back when I was in 7th grade, and this girl tried to, well, if you can even call it that, tried to, tried to expel me and get it on my permanent record that I sexually harassed her. And this obviously is false. If you know me, if you don't know me, then it's, trust me, it's false. And I will tell you why. Sorry, there's a lot of noise in the back. Anyway, so, this girl... Everybody knows what a Karen here, right? This, this channel's for people who know what a Karen is. Anyway, this girl was like the young version of a Karen, because her mother pretty much ruled the school. She was this like little queen of the school, and the school did everything she wanted to. And pretty much the whole school was designed off of simply making rich liberals happy and, make, and attracting them to the school. So anybody like me who's a centrist isn't really accepted there. Let's just say that. And there's a bunch of SJWs there. Anyway. This girl, in 7th grade, I had my own friend group, I wasn't exactly popular, but anyway, I, throughout the whole year, was pretty much harassed by this girl. She always went up to me and started, like, doing things. Anyway, so, this girl, as I said, had been harassing me and pretty much doing a bunch of weird stuff. And pretty much just trying to tempt me into, like, making, into trying to like her and try to ask her out so, just so she could, like, crush me. Anyway, th this girl was not exactly, um, you know, she wasn't exactly, a uh, Nicki Minaj, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so, one day in seventh grade, we had this teacher named Patty Farmer. And yes, I am going to call him Patty Farmer. Patty Farmer here, um, really did not like me for no apparent reason, and, or my friends, which was very annoying. Anyway, so I, and I got in trouble so many times for literally nothing, for, and for people saying random stuff at me. Anyway, Hobie Zauer over here decided to one day go up to me and start twerking with her pancake body. You know what I mean. Anyway, she started doing that and said, wouldn't you hire me as a stripper? So... I said, in a very normal way, for anybody that made that kind of approach at me, I said, no, you wouldn't even get the job, because I did not like this girl. She was annoying me, and she had been annoying me the whole year. Anyway, after I said that, she had got a bit offended and said, well, when you're an old, creepy man, you're going to hire prostitutes. And so, of course, I said, not if they're like you, I'm not, because I wanted to get out of the situation. The problem is, now there was a group gathered around, and this girl had every single girl in the school like, wrapped around her finger. That was the annoying part. Because all of them gathered around, and all my friends gathered around, started hy hyping me up. All of the girls gathered around and started being like, Oh my god, you're so anti-feminist, you don't like girls. Anyway, so a lot of the girls were starting to go on my side now, because they saw how Zoe Hauer and Hoey Zauer was incorrect in the situation, if I can say that. And then, Zoe Hauer came up with the thing to make me look bad and make me look not liberal and make me look like a creep. Because in my school, if you don't look liberal, then you're going to be, like, expelled. Anyway, so she came up with the bright idea to lie through her teeth and say, well, the whole day you've been looking down my shirt in I'll remind you, she was wearing a very high shirt and pancake. So, there was nothing to see. Nothing to see. Anyway, that was very annoying. And then everybody and all the girls started yelling and be like, Oh my god, you sexually harassed her, you sexually assaulted her, you're, you're a rapist. All those random stuff. And all my friends were like, bruv, you didn't do anything. And then there, there was this whole fight. And then... Zoe Hauer got even madder, and then we started getting into this, like, little discourse about, like, 
no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Like, the kind of thing siblings do, except it was now a female. I felt kind of like the employee when the Karen, like, breaks a milk bottle, throws it everywhere, and then says, Oh my god, this employee did that, and, and there's no security cameras. Because obviously, they're not going to believe the straight, white, heterosexual male. They're going to believe the rich, liberal woman who donates, like, thousands and thousands of dollars to the school. Anyway... So I thought this had all died down after, even though it was a big thing everybody's talking about. Then at lunch, this guy named, named, um, I don't know, you know, he was actually a Kyle, you know, with this, like, yeah, and he always talked about his fish. He was like, oh my god, my fish just ate a Cheerio. Like, oh my god. Anyway, this guy said to Patty Farmer, Wow, stuff went down today. And he was like Zoe Howard. He, he like, loved Zoe Howard. So, of course, he was going to be like, Oh my god, Etsy is such a bad guy. Anyway. So then, Patty Farmer took in all the girls, not my friends who are male, and asked them, What happened? And pretty much they all told them that I, w- I would, like, rape Zoe Howard. Like, verbally raped her. Oh, what the fuck? Anyway, they said that, and obviously I said, what are you talking about? Anyway, I didn't get a chance to explain myself at all before Patty Farmer came in with a big grin on his face and said, you're going to have to see Lanisha Gray. And yeah, he called her Miss Gray, but I'm going to call her Lanisha because I have zero respect for this evil human being. Anyway, I was called into her office, and then she was like, do you want to tell me how this all started? And I said, like the normal human being I am, I, I, tra- I started saying, oh, well, Zoe Howard. And then, right when after I said Zoe Howard, she was like, let me refresh your memory. You called Zoe Howard a stripper and a prostitute, and you looked down her shirt and up her skirt all day. Mind you, she wasn't wearing a skirt. Anyway. So pretty much I said, no, and then she said, if you don't admit to it, we're going to have you expelled and you're never going to get into any high school. That was the thing that really scared me, so then I was just scared. So then I just owned up to it the whole time and just said, oh, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 just to get out of it. Because I was in seventh grade, I wasn't like this genius I am now. Anyway, when I got home, my parents and grandparents, because I love my mother and my grandparents, they went ham on me for absolutely nothing. They said, and they made cracks at my father, which I'm sorry, but that's the one thing you can't do. They were like, oh, well, if you're such a sexual pig, why don't you live with your pig of a father? Oh my God, how could you do that to a woman? And we may not, ha- we may not be able to send you to college because you're going to rape people. All that dumb stuff. And this was awful. Anyway, I went through three weeks of that until finally the psychiatrist, the school made me go to a psychiatrist, said, yep, you're fine, you didn't do anything, I can tell. And then Zoe Howe, then Hoey Zauer said to the teachers, oh, don't expel him, because she knew that she was going to get caught, because there were security cameras, and no matter what, she was going to get caught. Anyway, she said, oh, don't expel him. He, he'll learn from his mistakes. Mind you, Lanisha wanted to expel me. She wouldn't have cared what the security said. She would just care that a girl that gives money to the school said something. Anyway, I went through hell, absolute hell, because of this girl. And I'm sorry, but that is the most awful feeling, being accused of something you didn't do. Anyway, fast forward a couple of months when my father and finally my grandparents, also, by the way, I love my mother and my grandparents very, like, more than anything else. They're amazing, and my father. But sometimes they're a little whack. Anyway, and they're also left. So, you know. Anyway, I went through hell, and finally they gave the school hell, and finally the school knew if this got out, they would be screwed. So, finally, they gave me a they gave me a, we may have mishandled the situation a little, but that doesn't mean your mistakes were not bad. You know what? Shut up. That, I know that's their way of saying, oh, sorry for being a douchebag to you. But you know what I say to that? Screw that. I don't care. This was awful. They put me through the worst experience of my life. I w- my whole future was almost ruined. And actually, it went on my report that I was going to, that I had had some 
interesting do goings on with a female student. And that set me up for my next story, which I got suspended for actually. So see you next time on Ezio Salambeni's Awful Life. Thank you.